Hello and welcome to Green Healing, where we discuss alternative and natural healing from abuse and CPTSD. Today I want to take a close look at Heather, the Bach Flower Remedy. As a quick reminder, this isn't medical advice, I'm merely sharing what I do, perchance it may also help you. Heather's key word is self-centeredness, self-concern. When you need Heather, symptoms might include being preoccupied with your own troubles and affairs above those of others, a constant need for attention. You might be perceived as self-centered. You might be self-concerned. You might even be obsessed with ailments or problems. You might dislike being alone. You might have a tendency to make mountains out of molehills. You might observe a difficulty within yourself in being more attentive to listening to the problems of other people because you're so concerned with your own problems. Sometimes that concern is a great fear or tendency to panic. There are other remedies for that, which I'll look in the future. This is more without a great fear or panic, just a constant concern with everything that you're going through that overwhelms you and overpowers your sensitivity towards other people. When you take Heather, it might lead to being more selfless and more understanding of other people, towards other people. It will lead of, with what you have suffered, being able to listen and better help other people precisely due to what you have experienced and an ability to give as much attention to other people's problems as you give to your own. Heather promotes mature handling of your own needs, the ability to emphasize with and understand others, a readiness to enter into relationships. Heather's empowering statements are, I feel safe. I receive all that I need. I am growing. In my first two episodes of the season, I explain how to prepare, how to take the Bach flower remedies, and how to self-diagnose to figure out which ones you need. Hopefully, this will also help you figure out if you need this particular remedy. Also, remember when you're self-diagnosing to observe your symptoms without necessarily judging them. We all go through, a lot of us, several symptoms from any number of these remedies. Becoming more self-aware is key to being able to more accurately self-diagnose ourselves, but needing one remedy or another is not wrong or anything like that. So just know that it's okay if you need these remedies. My sources are Bach Flowers for Crisis Care and Mastering Bach Flower Therapies, A Guide to Diagnosis and Treatment by Mertild Schaeffer and The Dictionary of Bach Flower Remedies by T.W. Hein Jones. There is a lot more to these books than what I mentioned in these videos, so I highly recommend that you check them out. The links are in the description of this episode. However, they are not affiliate links. If you'd like to support Green Healing, I do now have merchandise. The store will be linked in the description of this episode. There is also the Elements Healing Music with Tibetan Singing Bowl album. If you'd like to make a larger contribution, there's always Patreon or the PayPal tip jar. All these links are in the description of this episode and you can also find them on binkyproductions.com slash greenhealing. Your support helps keep the podcast alive and is very much appreciated. I hope this episode has been beneficial for you. Share it with whomever you think will benefit from it. And remember, empower yourself and be emotionally free.